Okay, well, good morning. We're at Cedar Ridge Elementary in Whitfield County, Georgia. And would you please introduce yourself and tell us what you teach? My name's Shauna McClure, and I teach kindergarten here at Cedar Ridge. Okay. And you had an interesting unit that you studied about frogs. Yes, ma'am. Could you tell us a little bit about the content you wanted your students to learn about the frogs? Well, the, the most important thing to me was to be able to go ahead and build their background, what they already knew about frogs, and let them find out what they knew about frogs by looking at, we had these pictures posted around the classroom, we did a gallery wall for the kids use their eyes and, what, and made connections to previous learning and, and told me everything I knew about frogs before it began. And that's what we wrote with the red here. And they knew that they were camouflaged, that they had webbed feet. Somebody said they may have little feet, and we talked about that. But they lay eggs, and they knew that babies hatched, and that they ate bugs, and they swam and jumped, and that they were different colors, and that they were camouflaged. And then after we went around, they found out some new things and made some new observations. And then we, and we, they also had some questions that we made, we put up there at the top. And okay. So let's look at the students for a few minutes. Jump. Frogs can jump. What else? Babies hatch. Babies hatch. What else? They have sticky hands to climb. They have sticky hands? To climb. To climb. Yes. They eat bugs. They eat bugs. Yes, young lady. Um, they have a long tongue. They have a long tongue. They have sticky tongues. Sticky tongues. They swim. They swim. They eat bugs. They eat bugs. Different colors. Eat snakes. Eat snakes, yes. They have wet feet. Okay. When you think back to learning about the frog, what are some of the things that your teacher asked you to do to learn about the frogs? What did you do to learn about them? We, we some people write habitats and posters, some people write posters. Okay, good. What else did you do? What did you do to learn about the frogs? What kind of things did we do so that you would learn more about the frogs? Say that real loud. You did some projects. Good. What else? Okay, turn around and say that real loud. Gallery walk. Did a gallery walk. Okay, what else? What did you like best about the frog units? Young lady? Um, I like when we made that. You like making the habitats? Good. How about you, young man? What did you like best? I don't know. How about the back? You made a poster. You like making your poster? Okay. How about you, young lady? I like the gallery walk. You like the gallery walk. Okay. Tristan? I forgot. Okay. <laughs> Let's go back um, to the teacher for a few moments. They made some different projects and products. Yes. What was your main product focus you had your students working on? Well, I wanted them to understand. My, my desire was they understand the life cycle of the frog and that they understand um, the way the frog's made up and the things they eat and why why they do that. So I wanted, whatever they displayed to me, I wanted them to understand like the habitat of the frog, where it lives. I wanted them to understand, to, to show me what they had learned in some way. And uh, so I guess my product focus was basically them telling me what they knew. <laughs> However they wanted to, you know. So they had some choice in their products? Definitely. They had three choices and they didn't choose the one. All they didn't they only chose two of them. Some of them one of them they didn't know what he wanted to do. So Okay. Okay. Um I would like to interview Tristan so we can ask you some questions and so can you tell us who you are? Tristan Howard. Tristan Howard. And you're in what grade again? Kindergarten. Tell us about your product that you make. Explain it to us. <coughs> Frogs have different, different colors. They are 
made it look the way you did. Because I told you the stone table was helpless when we the waterfall. What are you most proud of from your product that you made? The hardest thing was uh, cutting all of this. So why did you stay with it if it took so long? Why did you continue to work on it? Because I really wanted to get done with it before last night. Okay, and what happened last night? Our parents came to see it. Our parents came to see it with their kids and how good they did. Okay, good. Um, tell us about the waterfalls. I do have a waterfall in there. Why did you pick that? Because I just wanted to pick it and think it would look good on it. Okay. So, what was it about this poster that you made that made you feel really good? Uh, I think that one. No. Okay. Did you like doing this work? How come? Because I had really fun doing it. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Anything else you want to tell us about your product? Can you tell us why you chose the things you did, what, what you found interesting about the things that you wrote about the frogs? Okay. Okay, that, I can't. Why, why did you tell us they had different colors? What's new about that? Because they can turn blue, green, red, and different dots. Something. Okay. Why are they different colors? Because they've got a blanket so nobody will eat them. So, Tristan, leading up to before you did your poster, what are all the things your teacher asked you to do so you could learn this information and put it on your product? What were some of the activities or the assignments or the work you did in the class? Well, uh, we learned about tadpoles and I put a tadpole on there. How did you learn about tadpoles? Because frogs have uh, eggs and tadpoles come out and then they grow Okay. There's some things we did to learn about tadpoles, do you remember? Tadpoles are weak and breathe underwater. How do you how do you know that? Because the folklore taught us. Okay. <laughs> and what else did you do? Did you look at pictures? Did you what else did you do to get ready for this work? Uh, when I wrote this I looked on for teaser. Okay. Except for what I think. And how did this chart get filled out, the one you're pointing to? Is this helping? Mm -hmm. Well, at least all of us did it. All of us did it. Good. Okay, anything else you want to tell us about your product? What are you most proud of? Everything on it. Everything on it. Okay. <coughs> Thank you very much, Tristan. Let's give Tristan a hand. Let me take this.